Hi everybody, I'm Tracy, registered dietitian with Flick. Thanks so much for joining me in my kitchen today where I'm going to be preparing turkey sweet potato shepherd's pie. Now, traditional shepherd's pie is usually made with a red meat filling like beef or lamb and topped with mashed potato and onions. But today, we're gonna take a little bit more of a healthful, still delicious spin on this traditional dish. We're using ground turkey, and I've purchased a 93% lean turkey, so we're still gonna get that really great meaty consistency, but with a lot less saturated fat. We're gonna be topping it with mashed sweet potatoes, which are ripe for the season, great color, beta carotene, vitamin A, creamy consistency, we'll be adding some butter and milk for that creaminess, and then we'll be using a filling filled with veggies, nourishing, filled with vitamins and minerals, we have corn, we have peas, we have onions and garlic, lots of fresh herbs, and then that richness is still going to be a part of this dish with ingredients like Worcestershire, tomato sauce, a little white wine. So join me today as we take a healthier spin on our traditional shepherd's pie. Let's get started. Before we get started, I did want to mention something about leftovers, because tis the season, right? Whether we're cooking for just our family or maybe cooking for our neighbors, donating meals elsewhere, this recipe can be used in many different variations with customizations and substitutions on almost any ingredient. So I'm using all fresh store-bought ingredients today for this video, but if you had leftover turkey from Thanksgiving, you could easily just chop it up and add it into this recipe instead of using raw. If you had leftover mashed sweet potatoes or any mashed vegetable, you could easily use it in this recipe. Same goes for all the other layers of veggie flavor that we're using. If you had something that was already cooked but it's vegetable based, pop it on into this dish. This is essentially just a glorified casserole, so as long as the flavors will go together and you know that you'll enjoy it, feel free to substitute away and don't feel like you need to go freshly grocery shopping for all of these ingredients if you have similar ones on hand in your refrigerator, freezer, or pantry. Carefully peel raw sweet potatoes using a vegetable peeler, then tightly wrap in aluminum foil. I've placed our tightly wrapped peeled sweet potatoes in a 350 degree oven. They will need to roast until very soft about one hour. Now it's time to prepare all the veggies and fresh herbs. Peel and dice onion and fresh garlic. Remove excess stems from parsley, roll tightly and chop through. Chop chives, remove leaves from thyme stems and chop. In a large saute pan, add oil and brown turkey, stirring frequently to prevent browning. Add onions, garlic, corn, and black pepper. Cook for five minutes. Add flour and stir in. Cook for two to three minutes more. Whisk together all wet ingredients to dissolve tomato paste. Once flour has been absorbed, stir in fresh herbs, salt, liquid ingredients, and peas. Stir to combine and cook until sauce is thickened. Remove sweet potatoes from foil, mix together with milk and butter until smooth and creamy. Pour turkey mixture into a shallow baking dish, evenly top with mashed sweet potato. Place in a 400 degree oven for about 10 to 15 minutes until the potatoes start to brown. Okay, we've taken our finished shepherd's pie out of the oven. It is very warm, so we're gonna let it rest at least 10 minutes. You could also pop this in the fridge and have it be ready for dinner tomorrow. This is a great day ahead type of a recipe. But we're gonna let all the ingredients cool down, firm up so that it is ready to slice, serve, and enjoy. All right, we have a slice from our finished cooled product. And I'm just gonna take some of the fresh parsley and chives. I chopped a little extra. Anytime you're using fresh herbs in a recipe, save some. They make a great garnish. That fresh, bright green color on top at the end. Here we go, again, the best part. A Little bit of the filling, some of the sweet potato. Mmm. Oh my goodness. I feel like I say that after every time I taste one of our recipes, but really, 
So delicious. The sweet potato is creamy on top, but that ground turkey filling with the Worcestershire and the hot sauce and the chicken stock and the white wine and the tomato paste really adds a very rich consistency. This is sure to be a hit at any chilly winter table this season. Enjoy, adapt as your pantry and kitchen ingredients allow. Utilize leftovers when you can. Thanks so much for joining me in my kitchen today. For more cooking videos and wellness tips, follow our blog and check us out on social at Flick Hospitality.